I love CFS. 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 I love CFS.
Hello and welcome back. We are live from Nanjing here in China for our Crossfire event matches of Crossfire HD. We've already eliminated OMG, the first team out of the competition. Tai Lu progresses now into the lower bracket final and they're going to be going up against LGD, the team they went up head to head against in the first matchup of the day. We've changed over our cast. We've got the real Elfie Sky and Sniper. Exciting times ahead. Gents, you've been enjoying a lot of... Uh, a lot of HD so far this mm. morning. What are your thoughts? Yeah, definitely looks quite exciting. I've been enjoying watching the games, of course, just as much as CFS. Uh, but I really enjoy watching all these new teams, getting involved with all these new new metas and that kind of thing. So yeah. it's kind of a, an interesting journey seeing how everything sort of plays out in this new kind of a game. Yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, the graphics look a lot better and the game looks a lot smoother and it looks like uh, it actually looks like a lot more fun to play. Uh, you can see there's a lot of good positive feedback on uh, Twitch and so on like that about how the game looks, especially compared to the older version or the older zone. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that pans out uh, in the future. Yeah, and for me, uh, there's been a lot of good aggressive play as well coming out of this. Yeah. An opportunity as well for, for some experienced players to get back into the game, play on stage once again, relive their, their hopes and dreams. We've got a lot of uh, CFPL uh, pros in here, yes. a lot of winners, mm. a lot of CFS winners as well. Um, so it's interesting to see Who's going to head up against all gamers a little bit later on this afternoon? I think for me that's one of the exciting things, Ben. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I started in Crossfire in 2015, and Mino back here for LGD, he yeah. won in 2015, so maybe there's a little bit of nostalgia there for me. Yeah. It's been enjoyable watching him get to play again. Yeah, I think he's, he's actually been it. performing very, very well uh, for LGD, and uh, you know, I think it might be LGD that actually does go through to, to face oh, all gamers. Whoa, 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 that's spoilers, Jordan. You have to wait for that. You've got to right, wait right, till right. we ask that question. Ian, you've been enjoying some of the gameplay? Yeah, it looks like a lot faster. Uh, yeah, it's a lot more compact, close quarter combat as yeah, well. So yeah. that's interesting. And it's kind of eliminated the need for a sniper. So uh, very interesting so you, to see how gone. people play around that. Well, you're always going to need an in-game leader, Ben. But uh, yeah, of course, the, unless it's Black Widow, the other maps, the Eagle Eye and Naval Base, not much room there for a sniper. So unless yeah. you're going to whip out the pistol and have, have a crack with that. Yeah, as we head into this next match, Tyloo coming through the lower bracket. They just won uh, the last best of 3 2 and 0. Oh, they're in fine form. They picked it up 9 6, and they came through. We thought maybe because the first map was naval based, that might suit them. Something new, something that maybe no one else is used to either, as were that they weren't either. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an even playing field. But then we moved across the Eagle Eye map that they really struggled on the first time around. They actually look quite comfortable, unless, of course, it was in the gondola. Yeah, I think it's a lot more to do with the, the caliber of team that they were going up against. For Tai Lu, it's quite evident that they were a little bit more comfortable in general yeah. uh, than what OMG were. And I think, uh, not necessarily speaking so much to the maps, but when we do see, obviously, Tai Lu up against LGD, we've got a lot more experience on the side of the, the LGD players than uh, the Tai Lu guys do have. So I think that's where a lot of that power is coming from for, for LGD. And yeah, maybe it does come a little bit down to the maps and that kind of thing. But because it is such a new sort of a situation with these maps and with this game, mm -hmm. uh, every single team may be a little bit more inexperienced on every given map regardless anyway. Well, Jordan, we're into our pick phase. And once again, it's going to be Naval Base to kick this off. Tyloo just picked up Naval Base 9 and 6. And uh, look, they, they're the only team here who's actually played this in competition now. So that will be interesting for sure. Black Widow, the second map. And should we need it, we're heading back to Eagle Eye. So Naval Base, Black Widow and Eagle Eye. It's Tai Lu up against LGD, a rematch of round number one. Okay, now Jordan, I will ask you for your prediction. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to go for LGD here. I think it would be kind of ludicrous to predict against LGD based on the result that yeah. we've seen between the two teams already today. It was fairly comfortable for LGD over Tai Lu. You have the experience there of Mino, again, who I want to reiterate. Uh, so I, I definitely think LGD, for me, should be picking this one up. I'm actually going to go 2-0 as well. Whoa. I think they definitely look a lot okay. stronger than Tai Lu. Ian? Look, I'm going to play devil's advocate just so you don't have to, Ben, and then we can get a real prediction out of you. But uh, for me, yeah, look, Mino really did trash them in that first map on Eagle Eye. At the, but yeah. it was the first game of the day. It was, mate. And, it was. Uh, tai Lu, they've impressed as the group stage has gone on. So I, I think I'm going to go Tai Lu. Uh, and they need to do it in two. If it gets the Eagle Eye, well, that's obviously going to go the way of LGD. Well, I'm saying it's Tai Lu as well. This is LGD up against Tai Lu, our lower bracket final. Let's get into the action here on on uh, Navy <laughs> <laughs> well, into our elimination match again. Woo! So there's a lot to play for now for Tyloo and obviously for LGD. I'm certainly gunning for the LGD AG rematch of that winner's bracket final. But Naval Base, definitely a little bit more of a question mark when 
one does come to this one, particularly for LGD. Haven't seen them on it just yet. Lots of new answers to the map. Here we go into our next match. It is LGD up against Tyloo, straight onto naval base, and elimination time now for one of these two teams in the best of three already. One map earlier on today did go the way of LGD, but that no longer plays a part. They yeah. do have a little bit of an advantage off the back of that, though, I do feel. Now that we're dealing with elimination now, Jordan, you're going to see a lot more of a slower style, a bit more serious, a bit more, uh, mm -hmm. bit of more air of caution. And, uh, well... Tai Lu on that uh, blacklist side, starting things off very slowly, very methodically. And as you can see, not a single sniper on the board for either team. Well, that was fairly, fairly expected, exactly what you were talking about in yeah. the, the pre-match segment. Foon going to be pushing up uh, along what is a bit of an interesting corridor for him, really not yeah. much for him to do if he does get caught out there aside from jump down into the water which i don't know if is going to be necessarily too ideal for him no, we did talk about the concern of being in that water you saw in the uh, interlude there that you can get sniped down while swimming not at all ideal not a favorable position to be in but tyloo just waiting patiently for someone from the lgd side to push on through make a bit of a risk make a play force a mistake not going to happen halfway through the round now Still, only a bit of damage on the Tyloo side of things. Slow and steady wins the race here for Tyloo. They are the ones that yeah. have to make the move, and with 45 seconds left on the clock, it is going to have to come fairly shortly. Mino, alongside his teammate here, do have a fairly nice two-man setup. You can see Tyloo starting to group up now, get ready for that execute. Okay, see, has a sniper, we just couldn't see it. Well, you know, starting wow. off well once again for LGD, as we expect. The experienced veteran player in the roster gets the double kill. It's a 2v3 now, making it just a 1 for Tyloo. Sai left alive, but being collapsed upon, you know. He's gone straight well past where him. He is, but the kill is going to go the way of LGD, and that is going to be the first round of yeah. this match to wow. LGD. That looks like a very difficult bomb site to crack, okay. Jordan. You've got to say, if you can just have uh, three guys in that one room, Tyloo really need to save their flashbang grenades to get in there uh, without a scratch. And you can see, even though they got they got mowed down in the doorway, they did eventually break through, but it was too little too late. Yeah, really only Sai left alive in that case. And I think as one player, when you know there is still a couple of the defensive players in that position, it's mm. really not going to be particularly easy. There's not much room to work with. You can't flank around. You can't really get out. So, not much for you to do there. Yeah, nice crossfire here by LGD. You can see May going for a couple of uh, pot shots. Mm. Falling on back. A bit of a bait and switch like we see usually. Try and draw Tyloo towards his attention. Try and get them to hunt him down. But KZ again, hot with that sniper getting the entries. Didn't favour them much the last round. Hopefully this round they can get something out of it. The smokes will chime out across the map as Tyloo again do look to group up before the initial strike. Now Sai has been tagged down just a little bit. Not the end of the world for Tyloo. Definitely opening things up a little bit better than what occurred in the last round but I think what they need to be doing is really looking to shut down the powerful players of LGD and only finding one frag is not going to be enough here for Tyloo. The experience oh. is going to pay off right now as you can see. Another couple go the way of LGD to equalise Loop under a little bit of pressure here does just uh, wait for his teammate. They'll push on forward. Only one player to deal with here, and looks like Oof. that is going to go the way of Tyloo. That was some costly time spent though by Tyloo to hunt down that just that one player NCP, and still the superstar Mino alive. Bomb will go down. C4 gets planted on the B site. They're very close to retaking though. Mino opens it up. 
exactly what needed to happen for LGD. Put it back into a 2v2 before things get too risky. Now on to JP, and he has to deal with Lele and KSZ. There's no idea where they really are. Still dancing around the bomb site. KSZ in such a strong position here as well. A very nice long angle with that sniper rifle. Yeah. You see no real position. And he JP spotted can get spotted out him this. out now as well. I don't see this going well. And there you go, Tai Lu. Even it up early on, one apiece. And that's just the confidence they needed as well, considering how smashed they got in that first game against LGD. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is, I think, their map for the taking, or not necessarily their map for the taking, but one of their best chances because of the strength of LGD in that first match, as you say, and the fact that Tyloo have made this their choice. They've looked pretty good on this one. Uh, in that last matchup, need to make something happen here. And I don't know that it's looking so easy for them at the moment. It's oh! JP. He'll get three. Eventually, we'll be getting knocked over, but Minnow is still there, alive and kicking. And that is, I think, part of the, the issue maybe for Tai Lu. Their well, individuals just can't quite step up as much as the LGD players. Well, they cracked the bomb site early, but they just nothing they could do against that three kill from JP. It was so quick. And I'm seeing a lot of these as well in this, uh, in this zone of crossfire. It seems to be a lot more common, right? Yeah, then, well, uh, the lining up, it really doesn't go in your favor. You rarely saw the lineup kills or multi-kills in uh, in regular crossfire. Yep. And this one is just uh, so, so much easier, or you get so much reward from hitting those shots, maybe the recoil or something. But they're just making so many awesome plays. Again, that crossfire... A little bit different, but still existing between JP and Mino on that A site. Tai Lu just taking their time, playing very cautiously. KC, he's been the star for Tai Lu so far in opening duels. Yeah, 4 and 2 KD, over 100 damage per round as well. Long Shi, 32 damage per round. Definitely needs to have more of an impact here if Tai Lu are going to start off with a map win. See if the ninjas can appear through the smoke. Well, looks like that is going to be the case as Dongji will get the first kill of the round. Mino getting tagged down quite extensively as well, but still managing to have an impact as he finds one kill. Dancing around is nice, trying to buy some time, but he can't do much more than that. Sai so, get that kill. Bomb site now in control of Tai Lu. Sai so, go ahead and grab another kill for himself. Has been having a pretty good map so far as well. C4 has been planted at B-Site. In yeah. case you were concerned or confused where the C4 was planted. Middle in a 1v4. Difficult times ahead for him, but such a star player. Not no. this time, though. No. And there you go, Ty Lu, string a couple together. Yeah. Well, not off to a terrible start, that is for sure. Well, then we've, we're yet to really understand where the inherent bias in the map lies, aren't we? We Definitely. don't know. I if mean, this is a new map, right? Yeah, so we don't know if it's blacklist or global risk, or if it's an even map, perhaps, or maybe there's like a like Mexico. There's like a threshold where once you get past the boxes, then it becomes a bit more of an even map. Mm. But for now, it does look like it's incredibly difficult to hold those smaller bomb sites with just maybe two players. Oh, oh. that is a shot. That was mid air. Headshot as well to boot. It's been a while since we saw LGD actually find the opening kill. Yeah, that's true. They haven't necessarily needed it, but now that they've got it, well, would not be surprised to see them convert the round. You can see they are fairly spread out on the map overview, which uh, will reduce the chances of them trading each other, working together, not necessarily looking like they're in crossfire positions. Contrary to the name. Yes. I mean, if it's in the name. Plo just doing a bit of a jump spot into the bomb site. Not seeing a whole lot at the moment. Of course, we know there are some LGD players lurking that he needs to be aware of. But not a bad position. A bit of an overwatch for him there. Making a lot of noise up there. Keeping nice occupied. Keeping his attention. NCP not being fooled, though. Dongxi just outside the room with Lele. CP might have some work to do in a second. Has actually started off nicely getting one. Just lost his teammate on the bomb site now though. Goes Tai Lu. Dongxi looking for the frag here. NCP, or rather nice 
had his attention diverted. A nice take from Tai Lu will result in a 3v3. Lele looking to deal with some of the rotators. Again, the bomb goes down on B. As LGD starts to make their way in there, Lele with a big job to do, dancing around the pillar. He'll eventually get that frag. Mino and NCP to try and clutch this one out now. Poor LGD, but they are very split up, and it's going to take some individual heroics now just from NCP. Putting it into a 1v2. There's a second kill for him. And now in the 1v1, he might just clutch this one out. Needs a headshot. As both players, very dangerous right now for them. We'll push on forward, but it's Dongxi to win the clutch. Tyloo will take the lead. Very important round there for Dongxi to win. If NCP was to win that clutch, you could just see this going all the way for LGD on that momentum. You've seen it many times when the team gets fired up. It really does seem to just fall their way after that point, and Tyloo needed that. Again, just for some confidence coming up against the team, which really dealt with them quite easily. This NCP. My crossfire works a charm. A couple of one taps. Yeah, definitely something that LGD have been missing in a few of these rounds is, I think, teamwork. Really, they've been isolated quite yep. a lot by yep. Tai Lu. But it's not going to. Who be are the we case to judge, Jordan? Who are we to judge? Ooh. Could be quite difficult. KSC missing a shot does also give away his position, so LGD will know not to cross that angle. I wouldn't mess with that guy. You would mess with anyone in this match. Well, well maybe. I don't know, I'd like to try, but definitely KSC has been hitting everything. And again, they're sneaky around the map by Tai Lu. Gets caught out this time, Mino actually having a bit more impact this round. Yeah, most definitely they are having an impact as well. As he finds a kill, and it's Sai in a 1v3. Looking to push on through, needs to collect that C4. But such a crossfire has been built here by LGD that it's not going to be a particularly easy task for him. Going. Just managed to grab it, but LGD, <laughs> you can hear, well aware of that. Do have a player oh. on the flank, so easy done for LGD to secure it back into a 3v3. The one tap in the head there, putting him down without a fuss. Tyloo will try again. Very even so far, back and forth game. Tyloo have tried a lot of different approaches. Of varying speeds and tactic. Let's see what the strategy is for this round. A Looks very slower, similar to their first one, Jordan. Mm. KSC still looking oh. for those opening picks. These angles. Oh. Doesn't quite connect. But information given to Tai Lu at the very least, so something gained. Sounds like he's zooming in like a robot. Cyborg. Yeah, cyborg, yeah. Well, still LGD doing well to stay alive, even despite being spotted in multiple locations, avoiding that scope. And you can see everything Tyloo is doing is in an effort to try and get LGD to move out of their positions. And then when they realize that there's nothing they can do, they're able to walk on through the choke points. Well, Domchi once again trying to Oof. push into the position of five. So he'll be able to deal with one and a second. All three Aye. might go down here, very close. Blue will be traded out by NCP, but it's Mai that's done the damage there for LGD. And puts it into a 3v2. Cyan KSC Ooh. to try and clutch it out, but that is very quickly. Oh, I've not seen anyone use that vent yet. Maybe there's a good reason for that. Not really many options once you're in there, I think. Well, Cy again in a 1v3. Yeah, he's the C4. guy in this roster that's been around for the longest. But yeah. Well, he had the C4, Jordan, and he had the red beret, so... Yeah, 10 yeah. years. Everything was going his way. Sai has been playing for 10 years. Not necessarily HD, obviously, but... Wow, obviously. Out. Obviously, Jordan. Mm. But 10 years is a long time in the crossfire scene. Yeah, indeed. I don't think we even have many 10-year players in the CFS. This year, uh, no, most of them are at nine, nine years or lower. Yeah, I don't think a couple so of those. Definitely some old hats here, mm. not just myself. Use one day, Jordan. Maybe I can pass the torch. Tyloo very spread out, so I don't expect anything to be coming from them. But LGD do seem to be getting on the offensive for one of the first times on their global risk sides, yeah, rounds. 
Call it what you like. KSC, same position as always. Looking for anything. Surely LGD can hear this. Well, yeah, he's tried this a few times and it hasn't necessarily worked out to get that wow. opening frag. If at first you don't succeed, I'll walk around the corner and get fragged. It probably won't work ever. There's definitely a lot of noise being made and yeah. NCP will be quite aware. He's just waiting for the mistake to occur from Tai Lu. Yeah, a lot of discipline from the LGD players. Mai again with that nice position. Just waiting for Tai Lu to strike. Got the hatchet on the back there. There's always one guy jumping around, isn't there? Well, Mai once again needs to do some work. Just the one for him this time. In fact, a, quite a few frags actually go the way of Tai Lu. Yep. A nice split attack onto the site. Bomb is being planted, but in the meanwhile, LGD have equalized things. It's all really down to JP at the moment. If he dies here, it might be the round over and he will get traded out by Plu. NCP has managed to make some ground in that meanwhile, but gives away his position with the grenade. Oh, Blue not landing the, the shots. You need to hit these and he will eventually get the job done. Wow. Four apiece now. When, when he got out the door, Jordan, I was a little worried for Tai Lu, but yeah. Flu makes it happen and look at that. Styling. The end of the first half, four apiece is uh, about as even it's going to get, Ian. Is it? For nine, remember. Yep. I was going to say, Jordan, the time to kill in this game looks incredibly quick compared to uh, regular crossfire. Mm. That yeah. could be an attribute to, uh, or a contributor rather, to the fast 3Ks and the like. Yeah, definitely. Bullet penetration maybe a little bit yeah, better as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'd be going near that window after that. He just gets shot out yeah. as you walk past. It's definitely a very, very small little choke point to yeah. get through. Well, and KZ is on the uh, global risk side with the sniper now. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of havoc he can cause with that. You haven't seen it picked up so much by LGD, to no, be honest. No, not at all. Which is, you know, not what we're used to seeing. As we discuss often, there's no downside in any other way. Oh, there we go. It's time to make a move onto the site very quickly as well, early on. That may well have caught Tai Lu off guard. Still a minute and a half left in the round. Well, tai Lu looked to be playing for a bit of a retake onto oh. that bomb site. So the flank here from Minnow, he's just on the lurk. It's the flank of the flank. Two kills already the way of LGD, so the round looking worrisome now for Tai Lu. It's another falls the way of LGD. You know, does get overwhelmed. Dongzi, nice shot there. Coming out of the smoke, has to push on forward into the site. Nice long spray down, will get rid of another one. But still numbers to find on the LGD side and a good post plan set up for them as well. Difficult to deal with here for Tai Lu. And it all rests on the shoulders of Dongji. Oh. He won't get it done. I tell you what, Dongji was looking the goods there. If it wasn't for that late flank, he was just taking everyone down. And well, that's LGD back in the lead. And on that offensive side, after a beautiful fast B execute, which really Tai Lu only had the one player there defending. Tai Lu, just go for the uh, the old uh, shooting gallery. Shooting gallery, yeah. All three taking the peak. The and firing works. squad. They do take quite a bit of damage though, Ian. When you look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah. Fair but few of those Tai Lu players tagged up. Again though, the time to kill in this game. You get them in the head. You can uh, prevent dying. You know, prevent taking any damage. A lot of the. The, uh, the firefights I see in Crossfire, they are with no return fire mm. because it is just so quick. Well, NCP trying to lurk his way into a bit of a secretive position here. Tyler not aware of where he is right now. I guess LGD will be unaware of the low HP on the Tyler players remaining. Well, they may have a suspicion, but exactly. you will never know. Not a certainty. Not exactly a foregone conclusion, would it? Size so watching the angle right now with the sniper. Yep. So NCP perhaps better off just playing just, safe for the just moment. Just chill here for a moment, mate. You'll be fine. We know. Teammates do something. Yeah, he's on the attack now. Bit of a distraction grenade out toward B. You can hear Tyloo communicating. And LGD now poised to strike. We've got this two-man hit squad coming in. Well, it's really going to be three, I think, as NCP oh. will join them as well. Sigh on the sniper now. Yeah, 
I suppose he's got low HP. Sitting at about 20%. Gets the first shot. Manages to back away. A few flashbangs headed in his direction. NCP and Minnow now for LGD. Will turn it back into a 3v3. Much more favorable 3v3 for the attacking side as well as they do have that extra HP to play with, but not too much time. Blue hiding on the bomb site. Will be overwhelmed. That's a bomb plan available now for LGD. Definitely starting to get the better of Tyloo in this second half. And another round will go the way of LGD. Getting close. Yeah, they're looking very dangerous on their attack. And it's just the way that they're playing where Tyloo are isolated very heavily late in the rounds. A lot of individual uh, positions that Tyloo are taking up. You can see NCP is going for a swim. Doesn't want to risk going across that bridge. As last round, the firing squad was there. Yeah, well, pretty much no one actually interested in going into the water if they don't have to. Wow. Nice opening. Nice. What do you say when nice gets a kill? Nice kill? Nice. Jayo. Jayo. Probably. Yeah, perhaps. Got a good chance of another one here if a mistake is made. If you were to take one out of the Super Valiant book. Longji not taking the peak, and that is what's keeping him alive at the moment. He knows the possibility of what's around that corner. And it just isn't worth it. Maybe later, as time goes down, but early on, not so much. Well, that's enough for Nice. He's going to back away. As LGD start to think about that time, which may have an impact. One minute and 16 seconds left. Very slow round for LGD. Usually uh, popping off a bit earlier than this. Tyloo will be uh, just sitting back, relaxing. Well, they're also maybe scratching their heads. Well, they don't want to force any issues the way they're playing at the moment. They've come unstuck many times on this defensive side. Global risk proving to be a bit too much for them up against LGD. Slow and steady. I don't have much time left now. No, yeah, but this seconds. is looking like the B execute that won them the round earlier in the half. Well, Dongji may have other ideas about that one as he will dispatch of the first player that takes a challenge against him. Some good flashbangs from his teammates as well, keeping LGD Ooh. at bay. And they just cannot make any inroads into this bomb site. Much better defense from Tyloo this time. Mino on the flank, only able to get one and needed two if this round was going to be winnable. With 15 seconds on the clock now, NCP has such a job to do, and I just don't know that it's possible. Eight seconds, seven seconds, looking for a place to put the C4 down. Trying to get it down in time, but he's not going to be given the opportunity. The round timer is going to end, and he knows it's done. So does Tai Lu. Oh, that's good for Tai Lu. That gives them a, a bit of breathing space. They were falling fairly far behind on that Global Risk side. Now, LGD needs to go back to the drawing board. Tai Lu, however, that slow and steady pace of not moving around, no firing squad this time, does them some justice. NCP on the outside of the doors here. Just getting a lot of positioning right now. Yep. A lot of information as well. Religious well, power. Well, it's the same thing Tai Lu played last round when they were very defensive, very passive on their hold. But it was when the uh, LGD boys decided to come through that bus on B, or the bus onto B, that uh, Tyler was already there. They were well aware of what could happen, and had shuffled around preemptively. I'm not sure if that is something that maybe some information Lele or KSC were able to get earlier in the last round. My just holding position, hoping the, the uh, Tyloo players get a little adventurous. Not going to happen this round. Didn't happen last round. Hasn't happened at all this half. Tyloo have been quite passive, actually. LGD will have to work a little bit harder. All the rounds. Time starting to get a little bit low now for LGD, so you can see well, them... This is typically when they execute. Yeah. Around the one minute mark. They're going to go for that B bust again. Yep. Through the window of the uh, the cabin. Here comes the flash. Oh. That one is much better for LGD. A nice opening from Nice. 
5v4 and the smoke down, a much better execute. Well, just the one player here defending it this time. Mino still on the flank, causing issues for Tyloo, making it difficult to rotate across. He will go down, but that only equalizes for Tyloo. Now that the bomb has been planted, the shoe is on the other foot. It's time for Tyloo to make the moves. And the utility at the moment is keeping them at bay. The flashbangs being thrown in by LGD. A smoke down now as well. Oh, I think JP. that was a Tai Lu one. A JP on the flank. Maybe not even necessary right now as NCP doing the work. 13 seconds into 1v1. The smoke keeps JP at bay. But he knows oh. that if he plays the time, he'll win this round. On the defuse right now is Lele. But I think the time might have run out for him here. Yeah. And there goes the bomb. It's LGD that win the round. So close yet so far for Tyloo. Well, you saw the Tyloo player constantly get off that bomb, and that's where it was a bit tricky because JP had no reason to not come in and take the fight. And then when he uh, was preemptively spammed back through the smoke, well, that was just plenty of time for the Tyloo player to get back on the bomb and the LGD player also to hide, even though he had low HP. And by then it was uh, already too far gone in the C4 timer. So you've got to uh, wonder what Tai Lu can get, or can do rather, to get back into this game. Falling behind more often than they're able to catch up, and that's not a winning recipe. Two uh, rounds like away now for LGD as well. Yeah, NCP, I thought he was going to flash in toward B, maybe as a fake, but you can see the execute, he's going to come towards the A site. And I think Tai Lu have been banking on it being A eventually. It's only a matter of time, they say. Okay, so he spots one out. Lele feeling a bit pressured right now, as you can see him looking around, not sure exactly what direction to check. KSC, the sniper set up in a nice angle. But LGD not too interested at the moment. May even be rotating back toward the B bomb site. There we go. KSC has an opportunity and he does not miss. It's Minnow, the star player for LGD, down as well. Jump gets ever more difficult here for LGD. Not an angle that you'd be particularly interested in checking at this point. Well, they still have a player advantage, Jordan. KSC still okay for now. He actually gets the collateral damage onto Mai there. We we'll trade it oh, out, but Lele. they have no idea where Lele is. And the round goes the way of Tyloo. A very nice hold. Uh, as you can see, that looks very difficult to breach into that A side. Uh, now you can understand why LGD were going toward that B site so often. And they're just going to try and set up again. I don't, I don't expect them to go towards A again, though. Really wasn't even close there. KC able to get a good pick off before they're even executing. Yeah, I think LGD definitely have been a lot more comfortable toward B. Yeah, definitely. They've had uh, a couple of nice executes, get that flashbang over the wall, get the smoke down for the long angle, and it seems like LGD don't really have too many problems once that is the case. CP has also put a high premium on this position. Always looking to gain control of it. Yeah. So far hasn't really been challenged in doing so. Well, it's a good spot to be when the rest of your team executes maybe onto the B side of the A side because you can really split the map in the middle and prevent any sort of retaking. Interesting. Yeah, I would have expected some sort of counter utility out from Tai Lu. To the old uh, captain's room. if this is even the genuine attack from LGD. Very telegraphed. They're going to smoke the exit, which might make it easier to get out. Nice. Doesn't even need to help out Mai there, who does open up the account for LGD. To a 4v5 now, and LGD once again with more control of the bomb site than what Tai Lu have. Yeah, losing a bit of HP at the moment, but that's okay. Position is good for LGD. JP again. On the flank. Could really cause some problems here for Tai Lu, who are already at a deficit and slowly but surely dropping like flies. JP is. has eventually got that pincer strike working, and Mai will finish it off, as was the player to start it as well. 
And that's going to away. match point mm -hmm. for LGD. They're looking the goods here. And we did say if Tyloo wanted to win this series, this is the, one of the most important maps for them and Black Widow because we don't see it going the way of Tyloo if it were to come to Eagle Eye. Yeah. It just seems like LGD have cracked that Ooh. nut, although that is quite a bit of aggression. Now uh, from Plu that LGD was certainly not expecting. I wasn't even expecting that. No. That's Neither was the camera man, I don't think. Maybe well. that's enough for LGD to hang on another couple of seconds. Oh, I guess they only need to win two more rounds, don't they, to get it to an overtime. Mm -hmm. So it's not a foregone conclusion, Lele, in the A site. Just going to sit quietly, sit pretty. Got the numbers advantage, Nothing, no need for any craziness. He is being approached though, but he does have KSE on his side. And speak of the devil. Yeah. Again, he's just been such a menace on that sniper, honestly. This round definitely looking like it's falling apart for LGD. We've seen stranger things. Once again, headed a little bit more so toward the A site than B, which hasn't really worked for LGD so far today, but Mai does manage to grab one, which makes things look a little bit more promising. Yep. A minute left on the clock. Job's not yet done, but JP, he'll double down. That's two kills. Exactly what LGD oh. needed. Oh, no, Tyloo. They're what has apart. happened here? It was such a great start in the round, but now a 3v1 for KSC. Seems like an impossible task. Oh. Fairness, LGD are quite spread apart, but... Yeah, once they regroup on the bomb side, they, get they, the bomb down. They look pretty together there, Jordan. Yeah. That's heartbreaking. How can KSC bring this one back? We saw some insane clutches earlier in the week for CFS. Needs to make some magic happen, that's for sure. Yep. And he needs to do it in the next 35 seconds, otherwise map one goes the way of LGD. KSC spots the first out and can't even get rid of him. JP finishes it off. It's LGD. They're up one and zero now in the series and looking to force it through against AG. Still yet work to be done though by them. That's one map out of three. Tyloo with chances left, but LGD looked solid in that first map, that's for sure. Well, guys and girls, what an impressive result there for sure. Tyloo going to go down on naval base, the one map that we really felt like maybe was going to be their map to win, to put them ahead, to give them two maps to play with. And now it has been snatched from their grasp. Though, to be fair, it was a better head-to-head uh, -head result than we saw from them before. But for now, we're going to take a very quick break before we head back into the second map of this best of three.
everyone's FPS dream. It's more than a game. There are many paths to victory, and the champions are not only made in the arena. Do you still remember the joy and inspiration? Do you still remember the confidence and adrenaline? Do you still remember your original intention and the passion? I love CFS. 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 I love CFS.
Hello and welcome back. Today is day number one of two days here in Nanjing in China. It is our Crossfire HD event day today. Tomorrow is Crossfire Legends on mobile and then the CFS 2018 Grand Finals. But for now, we're looking to see whether Tai Lu is going to be able to make it through or is LGD going to prove themselves superior once and again. They've beaten them twice now on two different maps, but only once in this best of three. So this is Tai Lu's chance. Alternatively, LGD, they're heading up against all gamers in, our, in this afternoon's Grand Final. Yeah, I think, I mean, you say it's Tai Lu's chance. To be honest, I think it's LGD's chance yeah, at this so point. Too. Uh, yeah. They're 1-0 up in the series. We've just seen what should probably have been the best map for Tai Lu. Yep. Already go the way of LGD, so I'm not hugely confident here uh, for the guys on Tai Lu. It's going to need a miracle run, I think, to come back into this one. Well, if it's going to be anywhere, it's probably not going to be on Black Widow for Tai Lu, but we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Let's get into the action. go potential last chance now for Tai Lu as we head into our second map of the series LGD with already a one map advantage Tai Lu fighting for their lives now in the tournament unfortunately for them it has to be on Black Widow a map which we expect should be quite solid for LGD yeah exactly and the way they've been playing as well uh, has been pretty uh, pretty fantastic a step above Tai Lu at the moment they're gonna start off on the global risk side though so we'll be able to test their crossfires as Tai Lu do look to execute onto that B side. Nice starting off well with the pick for LGD. The sniper coming out which we didn't see at all on the last map already. Two frags the way, make that three frags the way of LGD. Tai Lu getting decimated to begin with here on Black Widow as JP he'll continue to push forward looking for even more frags. Picking up 226 damage in that round, Ian. Definitely not a bad start at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. And then that flank coming in late as well for LGD really just looked impenetrable on that B side. Also, I feel like Tai Lu didn't do enough to start the round off and suss out the positioning of the Global Risk players, trying to prevent them from rotating too early as they are doing this round. Another five-man contact play towards Long. You can see the Global Risk guys of LGD are heavily fortified in this uh, B site. Well, Tai Lu a little bit more interested toward A at the moment. Mm. But rotating their way back in toward their own spawn. They've left a bit of a, uh, a splinter cell over towards Long. I think it's Dongji, who might be just left there on his lonesome to hold off Long. Try and keep some of the LGD players entertained. Try and keep their focus there. Well, there's Nice once again opening the account. LGD twice in a row now. The opening frag has come from Nice, almost hits the second as well. To be honest, I'm astounded that that actually missed. Looked like it was on the mark, but still not bad at all for LGD. Info was given actually there to Mino, but he yeah. doesn't win the aim battle. And Blue able to double down, getting two frags from that position, even though he was known. Yeah, still managed to catch him off guard. Uh, actually well. will be shut down by Mai, who takes a little bit and will get traded out himself by Dong Xi. A 1v2 now for NCP. The round has gone a little bit awry for LGD. Definitely uh, worrisome, but not the end of the world. We've seen crazy things happen. One on two now. Let's see if NCP can keep up his heroics. Dong Ji Lele. Post plant positioning seems acceptable. Well, I don't know exactly where he's coming from, and Lele is actually watching the bridge, so he'll be spotted out first. NCP getting away with a bit of a luck there. Yeah, now puts it into a 1v1. Got a feeling he's in that window, doesn't he? Very committed to the idea. He's got a lot of time here. Just needs to fake the bomb, perhaps, to draw out the peak. But will, in fact, peak himself. And that'll be a mistake. Dong Ji shuts him down. First round on the board for Tai Lu. Yeah, nicely done by Tai Lu. They made their entry frags. They avoided getting uh, traded out too early. And, yeah, just catching LDD off guard there. That short defense, especially after that contact play at long. Mm-hmm. 
everything just fell to pieces. Having a look at some of the stats from the last map, NCP and JP were the ones leading from the front for LGD. Mm. 14 kills apiece out of the 15 rounds, so that's definitely not a bad conversion rate. As we see now, Tyloo opting for a sort of mid to A again. Lele finds JP napping. Yeah, no reply either. This short position's been a little bit worrisome for LGD so far. It's only two rounds in, of course, but they have mm. struggled to hold on to it. Well, they're coming to retake it, but Lele gets one, which is enough. The advantage will still stay with Tyloo. Mino also getting capped by a KSC. Oh, KSC surviving a little longer than expected there, but eventually does go down. <laughs> and we're in a bit of a deja vu situation here with Dong Zhai and Pihu. NCP did have a chance last round and wasn't able to get the job done, but this time coming from a different angle. Looking to do much the same thing. A 1v2 for him. It all comes down to timing for him here. Will get checked by Dongji. An easy round in the end there for Tai Lu. Off to a pretty cracking start, actually. Yeah, considering the uh, the effort they went to on the last map and for zero reward. This time, LGD not looking so strong. Looks to be a bit of explosion over on long. LGD have a number of players there, but in the end... Deciding not to commit to it. It's a one-for-one one trade. Lots of utility still being thrown in there, but LGD need to back away. Yeah. Rightfully so as well, Jordan. Not much cover there on the uh, on the A site. Sorry, B site. And especially on that long area. So they really do need to get out of dodge quickly, especially with KZ barreling down their throats. NCP going for a bit of a sneaky information play toward middle. Might get caught out here. Mike, close on the short. Might be able to trade if he does get spotted. Well, LGD definitely being quite aggressive right now. Yeah, and this information might just get them a good early B stack. Not that it's necessary. The B site does seem very hard to get into. Obviously, that's the round that Tyloo lost trying to execute on to B. They're not really fully committing to the B site, though, LGD. They're really just spotting it. Seems like a much more mid-presence heavy for LGD in this round. And yep. not sure what that is necessarily going to net them. A bit of noise being made by Flu. Do they expect LGD in these forward positions? Mai will take first contact. 52 HP for him, but that does not matter. One kill is enough as he gets traded out by NCP, who in turn will go down to Dongxi. All in all, not too bad for Tai Lu. But on the rotate over toward A, seems as though they've been spotted. Nice. We'll get rid of one and a 1v2 now for Dongji. Already having done quite a bit of work in this round and in this map. At 7 and 1 at the moment, he's leading oh. from the front. A fantastic shot it's to bring it back to a 1v1. But he still needs to find JP. He still needs to plant that bomb. So JP will bide his time. The peak comes out. Oh. And JP wins the round for LGD. That was really nearly some heroics from Dongji. Obviously. The star player for Tai Lu this map so far. He was performing pretty well in that lower bracket round against OMG. We sort of expected it was going to be Sai who would lead from the front from Tai Lu, but mm. Fu and Dongji have been the impressive ones, at least for me, today. Yeah, yeah. I feel like KC has been pretty impressive on the sniper, making shots that count. Mm -hmm. uh, Lele being a bit quiet. And you're right, Sai as well. Now, the four-man hit squad toward Long, clearing it out. Nothing there. LGD deciding better of it. You're going to fall on back now. While well, Tai Lu still seem in two minds, either to fall or commit. Oh, we might see some smokes over the roof and some flashes. And here comes the execute. Yeah, nice. With the sniper already causing problems for Tyloo. Missing a couple of shots, but the pistol comes out. And that is more than enough. Quick scope is actually my to get the kill there. But it did look almost like Nice was going to be able to connect. Still well enough for LGD right now. As they have the 3v2 KSC and Sai tagged up very heavily. And one more, one for one. It's just Sai left alive now, not for much longer. LGD now will pull ahead in the match. Three to two. Remember, this is map point, match point even for LGD, not map point. If they do win this match, if they win this map, that is going to be them through to the grand final. Clue, though, 
with other ideas. Very aggressive down middle, catching him with the timing. Nathan going down. Well, Ty Lu still far back in the Blacklist spawn. Unable to get anything happening. You can see for the first time in a while, LGD are playing very heavy toward long. Mino's got that locked down. I don't think it would be wise for Ty Lu to try and crack that nut. Has a teammate next to him as well for a bit of added support. Ty Lu, though, very passive on their Blacklist side so far. Definitely Just been a little bit different from what we've seen from LGD, who have, yep. on their own side, been very aggressive. I feel like they've been bullied a little bit this map, Jordan, into making these sorts of decisions this round. Who, Ty Lu? Uh, LGD. LGD. Sure, they've won three of the rounds, but the two rounds they've lost were basically because they were too passive and too far back and then required one on two retakes. Either that or because, you know, they were picked off on short. Well, not a bad read for Ty Lu now as they head up toward the bridge and only the one player really here from LGD to deal with that and sort of floating around no man's land. It's a very long, heavy stack for LGD. Might even be a mid to B at this point. Do have to C4 on short though, so that is a cause for concern. Oh, LGD going a little adventurous. Dong Ji though, he's been playing phenomenal. I'd expect him to take that and he does. Yeah, Mino just not prepared. May well be traded out here. In fact, Dong Ji, long spray down. We'll get the job done and eventually does fall to nice. Picks up a double kill for himself, yeah. being the hero in the round actually for LGD to equalize it. And two to two. Tyloo get the bomb down on A. Lele watching the window, but is he aware of the player sneaking up behind him? Timing, such a factor here now for both teams. Sai being faked out a little bit, but it's NCP and Nice now pushing up onto the side. Great shot from Lele. And a 1v2 now for Nice in his position, of course, well and truly known. Ty Lu will not be losing this round. That's three up for both sides. Keeping it even, keeping it interesting now is Ty Lu. Yeah, well, Ty Lu have had pretty good first halves, haven't they, Jordan? They've been pretty close, pretty yep. interesting. And it's that second half where LGD really able to blow them out of the water. Okay, so Lele gets control of Long. That's going to mean Ty Lu fall back. And maybe wait for... Some re-aggression out of LGD toward long. Said LGD forced to split their numbers across the map with one player at B, one player in short, and three players on the A side. So Ty Lu still trying to weed out the LGD defense. Nice was getting... A lot of opening frags earlier on in this half, but he has not really been able to do so since then. He's been having the impact still, but it's been much more late round, and it's not helping his team quite as much in that respect. Some of those late round frags aren't necessarily converted into rounds. That's all it comes down to at the end of the day. And you can see Ty Lu grouping up toward that B site with the C4, so that's gonna tell you something. At the same time, Lele still over towards A long. Maybe he will go first, or maybe he will come last on a bit of a flank mission. KC yet to get anything happening in middle. KC versus Nice. Getting some good positioning into middle at the very least. I wonder if Nice obviously has no idea that he's underneath, but when they'll figure it out, maybe it will be too late. If nice hits a the shot, then it might be as good as over. Decides to back away, knows what's going Ooh. on here, takes the peak, but doesn't manage to connect the shot onto Dongji and really needed to as his teammates were under so much pressure on the bomb side itself. It's gone pretty poorly for LGD in this one. Bomb control in Tyloo's favor, bomb going down. Mid at least has been secured by LGD, but that really doesn't matter when Tyloo have so many players there ready to trade out. Yeah, nicely done by Tyloo that round. Very slow and methodical, but that's what you need to do sometimes. You've got to weed out that defense, like I was saying. Nice. Giving up that position in middle allowed the pincer attack onto the B site, which was only manned by the one player. And now again, three man towards long. LGD shutting it down when they can. Yeah. 
Much better start to the round for LGD. Tyloo not able to dictate it quite as much. No. But with Nice going down, he has been one of the more solid performers in this map for LGD. It is a bit of a worry. There's a bit of concern. Sai will creep up short. Undeterred. The enemy players here that we can see on the mini map, but again, LGD were playing that retake onto the A site. Had to spread the defences thin as well. They still are. Two yeah. players down in long. Mm -hmm. The attack comes in. The bomb will get planted on the A site. What but can Mino do? Mino, if anyone can do anything, it's him. Maybe not so much on this map, to be honest, Ian. He has really been almost non-existent for LGD. So has managed to grab Dong Ji, and just as I say it, he answers the haters. Two kills for Mino in this round. Really opening things up now for LGD. As the defuse is actually on at the moment as well. Oh, he's stopped it's been it. been denied. But there's still plenty of time here for LGD, yeah. so it doesn't matter in the end. You know, with three. A valiant effort there, though, by Tai Lu. But again, evening it up. LGD just not letting Tai Lu establish a lead. First half, four apiece. That's exactly what we saw on Naval Base as well. But that went uh, fairly comfortably in the end, the way of LGD, I felt. In that second half. Maybe LGD a little bit more favoring the attacking side, which is where they have moved over to now. Again, long control for both teams. The grenade, only a little tickle to Plu. Very quickly up short there for Nice with the C4. Ops better of it. Lele gets the headshot. Yeah. Gets the frag. That was some crazy aggression, Jordan. Yeah, very interesting from LGD. Playing quite individualistic at the moment. It's not working out. Need to be working as a team a little more, which is definitely something that we're seeing from Tai Lu. There's always a player to trade out or to throw some utility, help him out if need be. Again, though, player disadvantage. LGD coming up short. Pivot. One on three. And the numbers are against him. I think this is more so what LGD need to be doing. Working together, building a bit of a wolf pack, trying to get some yeah. well, favorable for them on duels. the last map. Sai almost got taken down there as well by NCP. Oh, he'll get a little bit too eager to find the frag, and KSV is gifted one. Mm. Once again, LGD defaulting back to individual plays, trying to open the map. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It hasn't been consistent. Well, first round of the half for LGD on the attack. Maybe they just want to suss out how Tyloo will be defending. Maybe they are more of an adapting team. That could be true. To five seconds, Maya spotted another out, and that's a good headshot. Dongji goes down. You know, Tai Lu, I think it's just time to settle down a little bit here. They're really giving LGD the chances to come back into this round. Yeah. It did look like a foregone conclusion, didn't it? Now, all of a sudden, it's a 2-2. 35 seconds left on the clock. C4 in hand of JP. A site empty. The retake required for Tai Lu. Okay, see, I, I trust him to get this. <laughs> oh well, your trust is misplaced apparently. Missing a, what would generally considered be a sitter. Yep. Bomb goes down for JP and in the meanwhile, Mai has actually gotten rid of KSC. Sai, 1v2, no HP really to utilize here. Smoke goes down, but it does wow. not matter. Mai gets it. Wow, that round really fell apart for Tai Lu. Yep. LGD, you would have to be happy with that. That's looking like that's looking like the end of the game right there, Jordan. Well, it's not the end of the road just yet for Tai Lu, but Has not a great cool. early sign. No. Pretty Five dusty in this uh, global risk spawn. Still more chances for Tai Lu to come back in here. KSC has been pretty solid. Yep. And a map like Black Widow, fairly dependent on the snipers, so could definitely take I'll control of this one. Yep, for sure. On the same token though, Nice has been really involved in this one as well. It's been pretty nice. 9 to 8 KD, above 80 damage per round. It's really what you want. Dongji, I think, has been the standout again for Tai Lu. Certainly has been very solid. Wonder if he can have more influence on this Global Risk side. 
LGD going to take a leaf out of Tyloo's strategy book and take long control. Just the three players here, and they get it with zero fuss, zero resistance. That might help them identify the global risk of playing heavy up on short. So they're just going to leave the one player there, cause a yeah. distraction, deal with the rotators maybe. Yep. Yeah. NCP over towards the B site leaves something to be desired. Maybe they're considering an execute onto the B site. So we're seeing a bit of that push and pull that we always talk about, Ian. One yeah. area of the map taken by one side and the other taken by their opposition. Dong Xi is who I'm talking about right now for Tai Lu. As he has pushed up on short and his position not necessarily expected there by LGD. Did net a nice frag for himself, Lele to back him up. Dong Ji will try to grab another one. He's very low on HP, but the longer that he wastes the time of LGD, the better. Yep. Only two players left. Let's see if Tai Lu can hold on to this lead this round. Doesn't look like uh, LGD are going to be able to do too much here. Mino 1v5. Shut down easily. Yeah, tried his best. So 5-5. Five, five. His best just was not good enough in this instance. Sometimes that's how it is, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles, you would say. Yeah, I would. You really would. Could definitely go for a cookie. <laughs> well, LGD, a bit hesitant this round to go toward long instantly for that contact play. Majority of the players are spread out across the map. Blacklist side in their control. But you can see Tyloo again, a very far pushed up on short. I wonder if there's any strategy here for the Tyloo players. If they feel like it's going to be a B execute late in the round. They're very happy to leave long. They haven't had any contestion there at all. Uh, so far this half. Maybe something that LGD needs to start putting a bit more emphasis on. They have taken control of long, but they've not done anything really with it. No, that's right. Just been happy to set a player there and leave them to their own devices. Pop flash comes out for Tyloo to clear out short. They still see that it's clear with a minute 30 remaining on the Ooh, clock. That's a big grenade onto my. Yeah. You know, having a look into middle Ooh, right now. Oh, Well, an exchange of bullets and it'll go quite comfortably the way of LGD, but immediately traded back by the sniper of KSC. That's a nice flick from my. He turns around and gets Dong Xi. B bomb side opening up now for LGD, who cannot get anything done. Yeah, and it's another collapse for Tai Lu. That global risk side proving very difficult for them. Crossfires aren't really paying off in the timing that round as well. Such a solid position for Mai. Able to deal with the rotators very easily. Gets the pistol out, oh, and that's wow. two. And it's going to be six now for LGD. Yep, just made it look a little bit too easy that round. See if they can do it again because it just seems like it's a bit of a backwards and forwards map right now. It's reminiscent of the uh, RU Legends versus AG game where when AG went around, it looked very, very difficult, but when RU Legends went around, it was very clean. Yep. And despite the scoreline looking very close, Ooh. LGD are looking ahead and shoulders above the this rest. This will be the explosion out from LGD as well. They get the opening frag, they give away their position, but they don't worry about it. They push on in. They're still going up long with the bomb toward A. This could actually undo them if they're not careful. Well, they, they need to win these A battles. Minnow completely flashed out. Looks like it's working right now for LGD though, as Mai grab two in the third, almost presents itself. NTP stealing the kill away. Absolute collapse there by Tai Lu as well, you've got to say. LGG just ran over the entire map. Starting to get a little sense of a shift in momentum now as well. LGD yeah. the last two rounds, very solid. And it's seven to five, two rounds away for them now. Nice. It's actually NCP that opened that kill up. We'll get traded back. Yeah, Tyloo. But LGD really doing a solid number onto Tyloo at the moment. Tyloo just wanting to go on that front foot early on, especially after the last round. They've got it down to a three on three. KSC need to get a kill here on the yeah. cross. The flashbang's too much though for him to deal with. Nice grenades. A site taken by LGD. Here's the bomb plant going to be easy for them. Doesn't seem like oh. it. Whoa. What a shot from KSC. But he'll be taken straight away by good JP. Damage. Who should have spotted the player pushing up now through the connector as well. Can't really finish him off, but has done enough to scare him away. Plu coming out from the window. Oh, JP. Plu. It has not gone well for him there. Really had his attention diverted. That could have been the round there for LGD, but didn't manage to land the shots. That was a bit of a surprise for me also, yeah. the fact that uh, JD unable to take down Sai. Exactly. JP. That's what I'm talking about. 
Yep. If he did that, he would have had a much more easy time oh, of dealing with Plu. Nah, he was still caught off guard by that. That was very quick work there by Plu. Anyway, enough said about that. Ty Lu will take long for the first time in the match. And, well, this is getting very close now. I wonder if the nerves will be getting to LGD. They could close out this match at any time. They just need to get into a bomb site cleanly like they have been. I don't know Smokes. how comfortable this makes you going into the next match as well against AG if, as LGD, you're only maybe just able to beat Ty Lu. Yeah, well, Ty Lu are definitely rising to the occasion. He smokes toward middle. Should be giving a bit of a clue to Ty Lu. This strategy has been worked on once already. Lele's all over it. He does take a lot of damage. Yeah, he's down to 5 HP. Has lost his teammate as well. And very quickly afterwards loses his own life. A much better execution into the B site for LGD this time. And that's that. This is what's going to put them onto match point in well, 4v2. Plu and Gongji somehow are supposed to retake that B bomb site, take down four enemies in the process. Coming in from separate directions. Plus. We should not be surviving that long, but I'm sure that it's going to help out too much. Easily done for LG. Wow. Map and series point now. Yeah. To put themselves into the grand final against AG here. Oh, CFS HD. HD. The HD. matches. Nice. Opening up the account for LGD very early on. What more could you hope for wow. LGD? Just needing one round now. And having already started off well in what could well be the final round. Yeah, it's up to KSC here with the sniper holding down long. Well, it's pretty much the perfect position to play with it. Wow. Some nice long angles, but the flashbangs and the smokes may yet get the better of him. If LGD use those to perfection. JP wants to take the peak here, but we'll decide better of it for now. It's all going to come down to timing, I'm, and I'm not sure why KSC feels the need to abandon post. The rest of the team not really seeing anything, not really hearing anything. Getting nervous, perhaps. Yeah. LGD will be throwing their equipment over the roof. A bit of a few flashes, a few smoke grenades. You can see they're in those positions to execute onto the A site. I don't think this will work out in LGD's favour, to be honest. Unless that happens. Huh. Nice has been very, very solid throughout this map. Maybe my MVP for the map. NCP pushing up through the bridge, and it's really only a player in window right now to try and control the A site for Tai Lu. That is definitely a position that will be checked by LGD. They won't leave that open. Well, the bomb does go down, and it is checked, but Lele actually does win the aim duel. It'll be enough to get the bomb down, and one for one, still favorable now for LGD as they put themselves in position to close the map out. 3v2. Very difficult here to retake the A site. Ty Lu starting to make some inroads into the HP pools of LGD, but is it going to be enough? Mai gets one, and Sai, he'll go down as well, and that'll be that. LGD will close things out and put themselves into the grand final against all gamers. Well, 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 another quick 9-6 puts LGD into the grand final with all gamers here at Crossfire HD. Today has been full of surprises, gentlemen. Tyloo looked down and out, and then they were back, and now they're out again. <laughs> and the two teams that we suggested at the start might make it to the finals have finally accomplished that. Exactly. You say it's full of surprises. I say, well, maybe not so much, as we've got it pretty much right it's, so far. I've been far. ups and downs. It's a bit of a roller coaster. To be fair, to be fair, you guys did predict Tai Lu, so maybe that is a surprise. I mean, that was mostly wishful thinking, but yeah. we did get to see a, a good show match uh, there between, you know, we've got the Koreans in, we've got the Chinese in, everyone had a good go at it, and now we do see, uh, you know, LGD get on top of Tai Lu here. To be expected, they did beat them pretty convincingly the first time they yeah. went up against each other and that, that really did look like a very convincing win there for LGD. Yeah. Tyler, i got to say, they definitely did a good account of themselves though. Yeah, certainly better than what we saw of them in the first best of one early this morning. You could see a little bit of a warm-up perhaps playing part in there, a little bit of nerves calming course, down, but yep. not enough to get past the Titans of LGD, a very experienced crew who now will have to use their expertise up against another very experienced team.
in all gamers. Yeah, definitely, uh, I think, a tough ask now coming in for LGD. Yeah, sure, they got that victory 2-0 over Tyloo, but I didn't feel as though it was hugely convincing at all. Uh, they had some nice moments, but there was definitely well. times where they were tested. And again, based on the result that we saw already between AG and LGD, I think LGD actually really need to step up from what they've been cruising along with today to have a real chance against AG. Honestly, it could just be a case of LGD knew they didn't have to try that hard. You know, we've seen this. How many times have we seen this? They just do the bare minimum to get across the line. And when they come up against all gamers, we'll get to see their real game plan. Well, it's interesting now because uh, LGD has played three maps. All gamers has only had to play two. Yeah. And they haven't had to do all that much at all. They haven't had to try. You can see our MVP up on the screen. Do you gents agree with that one? Uh, I think I said during the game that I thought it might be nice being able to get those opening frags with the, mm. the sniper, but I think looking at the, the damage charts there or the, the kills and the yeah, stats, yeah. You, you can't really go past my. He was kind of flying under the radar, I think, a little bit for me, but certainly quite on evident. the scoreboard, yeah. yeah, yeah it's just impact. one of those consistent efforts across both maps. So, yeah, he definitely did shine, but, uh, you know, as an individual, not so much, but just doing his part for the team. Well, guys and girls, it's been a great day of Crossfire HD here from Nanjing, but we're going to have to go to a quick break, and when we come back, a huge best of three grand final between LGD and All Gamers. See you soon.